Guys, if you didn't know from my Snapchat or Instagram, I found a caterpillar. Well, my mum found a caterpillar, and it's time to raise that bad boy. Guys, when I first started this, I found a caterpillar in my garden, and I looked after him, and it didn't really work out. He's up on top of this branch. This is Craig. Look how much of a stick he looks like. It's actually crazy. Here we have him from behind, so you can, you can tell a bit better. God, there's a bird in the tree. Oh, thank f it flew away. He has wee eyes and also he has little feet. Look at his wee feet. So yeah, I'm in the tree with Craig right now and uh, we're having a lot of father-son bonding time. You want a cup of tea, Craig? I hope he doesn't ditch me. But that didn't work too well, but then I found Craig. I'm just gonna let myself take it away from here from when I found him. And when you get to the end, I guess you'll get to see what happens with our wonderful friend Craig. Enjoy. I've got some big news. It's been like a year and a half. Look at this picture. It's the last time I saw Craig. He's back. He went rogue. I couldn't find him a couple of days after and... Turns out, turns out, follow me home. He knows where I live. So yeah, I don't really know what to say. I don't, I don't know. Um, all I know is I'm gonna get him, put him in a box, and I'm gonna look after him. It's 2019. I left him in the tree right up there and he went rogue. He just, he just bailed. I wept. I mourned. I've read up. I know how to look after him. He's gonna turn into a beautiful butterfly. I've also looked up that they're pretty picky eaters. Just like me. He's just like his dad. But yeah, let's go do this. We're gonna go down. I'm gonna get a page, scoop him up, put him in the box, and then I'm gonna... I don't know what way I'm gonna do it yet. Can you spot the Craig? Can you spot the Craig? As you can see, in a normal house with a tree. Can you spot him? There is Craig the Caterpillar. Is he big? Uh, no, he's freaking tiny. Like He's looking pretty stick-like. I think I might have time to actually box him up here, so... Uh... As you can see, we have some lovely soil. Here we put some leaves in. The sweet branch. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference if it's outside or inside, would you? Now we gotta go catch the little thing. We have our catching device. Scoop him off the wall like this. Catch him in here and he won't fall off this little ledge. Where are you going with it? Just pretend to be a stick, Craig. There we go. No business. Come on, Greg. Come on, mate. Your father has collected you. Bringing you home from school. Craig is lifeless right now. He looks dead. But he's not. He's like a corpse. <laughs> We're in business. He's curled up a wee bit more, hasn't he? Yeah. Chief photographer, how did the process go? Very smoothly. <laughs> Where is he? Hey Craig, where are you in? He moves, he moves. Oh no! He's moving! Is he? Is he hiding behind the leaves? Yep. Smart, let's see, that's a smart caterpillar right there. What? He's moving, he's moving. Where is he? You know, every time you say he's moving. He was, he was really moving there. He's moving, he's moving! Great, you have to look after Craig, mate. Got Craig, rehoused, in the bedroom, off the windowsill. I'm gonna come back tomorrow. Hopefully, he hasn't escaped again. Guys, today is a good day. I'm excited. Craig left a year and eight months ago and he's back. Some of you are gonna tell me it's clearly not the same caterpillar, but, oh, it is. It's definitely him, like 100%, without a doubt. He's sitting right here right now, like literally right there. As you saw last night, I housed him and put him in a box, filled it with holes. I'm actually gonna put some bigger holes in it because I'm worried oxygen might not be getting in. I don't want him to die. So yesterday I got this text from my mum. Hun, this is on the wall behind the hairdryer. Is that a stick insect thing? At first she thought it was like a hole in the wall, but no, 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 it's Craig. So I was like, what the heck? It looks like a caterpillar. I'll move him when I get home. I didn't want her touching him. I wanted to capture him. Got myself a wee Tupperware box, put some leaves in it, got them from out of the garden, snapped a few branches off the tree. In one night, he's actually got way bigger. I don't know how quickly they grow. Apparently they'd rather starve than eat something that they don't like or don't know, so. And the first leaves that I put in, it looks like he's had a good wee munch on a few. Progress! So I'm just gonna try and document it over the next few days, because this time I've actually captured him. Last time I left him in the wild, and as you clearly saw, it was pretty hard to keep an eye on him. I lost him, or he was eaten. I don't know, but I don't want to talk about it. I like to think that it took him a long time, but he found his way into my house to say, look, I'm still alive, help me pupate. So here I am. Then I'm gonna set him free. I'm excited to see where this goes. So yeah, next time I talk to you, something interesting hopefully will happen. I don't really know what to do with myself now, to be honest. Probably go do some work, because I've got a master's to be studying for. So yeah, roll on the next day, I see you. <sighs> okay, so here we have Craig. Not much to look at, and you see him. I wouldn't think so. He's in amongst those branches somewhere. This is him here. He connected like between the two branches. 
But yeah, there you have it. There he is. There's his home. I'm gonna have to get him some fresh leaves, put some water in there, and I'm gonna fix some holes. What the hell? That was so crazy, right? I was sitting here just taking photos of the box, you know, as you do. And a bloody magpie came up to the windowsill and was like, and then saw me and was like, oh shit! And it bailed, but it can actually see him through that box. That's freaking crazy. Craig nearly died if I had left the window open. Could have lost him again. Ignore the fact that I'm out here. I'm just gonna try and put some holes in the top. Sh Knew that was a bad idea. I just split the whole freaking box. I've got a big split down the middle of the thing now. I think I'm gonna need to take a stick out and put a new one in. So I've got his new leaves here, wet from outside, perfect. Here now you can actually get a good view of him. This is him. Check him out. Like Craig with his size nine feet there, clinging onto the branch. So let's take this branch out. I don't need these other little leaves. It's like surgery. Sh oh, f oh no, crap. Oh sh Craig, no. I honestly have no idea how he's still holding on. Look at him, he's just like stretched between both the things. Okay, right. How on earth did that just happen? He's like bent now, what the hell? Hold on, Craig. I put him back in his house. <sighs> oh God, oh Jesus. That was pretty traumatic. Okay guys, so update time. It's day two since Craig has been captured, rehomed, rehoused. He's eating, he's eating food. But one thing I've observed, he doesn't move. But in the dark, he moves, it makes sense. If he was out in the wild, he's not gonna move around in the day, he'd get eaten like in a second. I'm kinda worried though, cause he obviously hangs on to like branches and stuff. So if I take all of these, like, he's not gonna let go unless I ping him off and flick him to the dirt. I kinda feel like he might be getting ready to pupate. I read somewhere that like they have 4,000 times their body mass or something before, so they have enough energy to turn into a butterfly or whatever. The few times that I've come into the room and found him, he's been hanging, like actually hanging down the way off like the stick. He's getting ready. If he doesn't pupate in the next few days, I'll take it all out and rehouse it. Let's see where we are in a few days, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I don't even know if it's worth mentioning, but yeah, it's the next day. And he's moved, but he's in a position where he's on the one big stick in the cage. So I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to take out all the other crap and put some fresh wet leaves in there. So let's go out in the garden and get some leaves. Bingo. Fresh, wet leaves. Out with the old, in with the new. The caterpillar's poo. Don't really know how this is gonna go, but yeah, let's just, uh, let's get over there. Again, I find it quite weird that you can kind of see me in the background, but sure, what, what the heck. There he is. What a champion. You know what, it might be so much easier just to go like this. Right, okay. I count that as progress. Uh, yeah. Guys, there we go. I hope he pays in the next few days, but yeah, see you in a bit. I'll see you in the next update. What, uh, I don't really know what to say at these points, but sure, I'll just, uh... Update time, guys. Okay, so it's been a couple of days, guys. Craig's had his water. His cage is looking well. He's hanging down. If I was a scientist, and I'm not, I would say he is getting ready to become a beautiful butterfly. That's all I thought I'd check it and tell you. So let's see what happens overnight. Holy sh Guys, we have movement. Don't even pretend, mate. I just watched you. But yeah, I swear he was moving. I swear to God. Just move back to where you are. <gasps> Guys. What the f***? What the f***? What is he doing? Is he eating? Maybe he's eating. Does that look to you like he's eating? I also can't work out which is his head and which is his... Ass. We caught him in action, it's the first time I've seen him move, like, ever. Literally when I caught him, he was like a bean pole, he didn't move at all. I guess there you have it, there's Craig moving. Still no pupation, I just want him to do it already. I'm not sure how long it's supposed to take, I should probably research this. You know what, I'll do that, I'll research this tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, so I guess a really quick update is, he moves ridiculously quick. I looked in his home, and he was pointing straight up, right? And I was like, right, better go get him some leaves. Cut him off some fresh leaves, come back up, and he's moved. Wait, is he actually eating? I think he's eating. Let's see if we can zoom in on him. So there he is. He's actually like attached himself to the other leaf. I don't know, but I need to rehouse him. These leaves are gonna get wet. Seriously, hope he lets go of that leaf because it, it does actually need to come out. Look how much he looks like a branch. It's freaking ridiculous. He's 100% eating that leaf, isn't he? Like, let go, mate. She's not worth it. She's not worth it, mate. She's not worth it. I think he's stuck to it. Craig, let go. Right, I broke it. I literally broke the line of silk. I actually feel so bad, it's so weird. What way are we gonna do this? We've got three branches. Look at 
the most epic amount of leaves you've got now. Are you happy, Craig? He looks happy to me, guys. He look happy to you. Okay, then. Okay, this is super zoomed in. That's quite weird. Turns out I've learned something new about him. They produce silk of some sort. I feel like he'd be a pretty kick-ass moth, though, or if he is going to be a moth. I guess the last time I spoke to you was pretty much saying that hopefully he'd be pupating, and that is not the case. I've just rehoused him again. Yeah, okay, bye. Okay, guys, it's update time. And, uh, yeah, it's not very interesting, but probably been about five or six days since uh, I last spoke to you, but he hasn't really done much. I did some research. So I went online, went to this website, found this picture. Turns out the only one I can think that looks like him is this one, and it turns into a moth. So, yeah, Craig's gonna be a moth, it looks like. But uh, yeah, apparently they're supposed to like double in size pretty quick. That hasn't happened yet. So I'm worried that these aren't the actual leaves that he eats. So I've got some new plants to try today. So yeah, here we go. First off, we've got some fern from a Christmas tree. Then it said they like oak. It's got a bit of moss on it, so maybe I'll eat that. Then I've got some actual moss. And then I've got this like, I think that's a poison ivy leaf. I don't know, but you know that ivy leaf that goes on your house? Yeah, that, so. Let's see what we can do. So here we go. Right, we're gonna rehouse this little bit. I don't know why I keep calling him a little bit. He's not a little bit. Why am I really far down? Let's just go with it. Okay, breakthrough discovery. There's either another bug in here, or he's actually like shed his skin a bit. Holy sh! Are you seeing this, guys? Are you seeing this? This little thing on this stick is important. We're gonna look at this later. So we have moss. It's some of his usual leaves in the back. Currently, Craig's just chilling here on this stick, like so. We put his log in first, I guess. This stick. Really, I have no idea what purpose it's gonna sell, serve, but he might like it. I think like this fern is way too much. I don't need it. Right, so that's him. At the back, this is going to be a test release, so I will get rid of it at some stage. Is it just me, or does this new home look absolutely sick? Look at that, it looks like a freaking jungle. Got this big poison ivy leaf up the right. His usual leaves up in the middle, and the treetops, and then, yeah, there he is, just chilling, doing his thing, as usual. Guys, I'm very hopeful about this, I and mean, we'll see, yeah, uh, we'll see in the morning, or the next few days. I really hope he eats the massive leaf, because if he eats that, then life will be so much easier. So yeah, let's see how that works. I'll see you in a couple of days. Break, I forgot to mention. Well, I don't know why I'm this zoomed in, but that's the complete opposite direction. I completely forgot. He shedded his skin. That's big news. Has he got bigger? Maybe he has, I don't know. That's his head and you can see his wee feet the front kinda. So yeah, I guess that's him shedding. He literally just looks like a wee mini bug. So that's progress. There you go, mate. So yeah, I guess we'll just talk to you when it's all sorted and done. That made no sense whatsoever. I'll talk to you next time there's an update. So let's find out. So guys, quick update. You know those new leaves I tried? <laughs> he's eating them. But yeah, look how much he's munched. <laughs> well, that's making the cut. Do not put that in. Uh, I won't be. I won't be. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I wanted to tell you, so yeah. Bye. Okay guys, we're back, we're ready. I feel like this isn't ideal. Um, let me just fix this. He likes poison ivy. He's cracking into it like a line of cocaine, like the. What? <laughs> anyway, he really likes this stuff, so uh, is it weird that I'm doing this? That I have a caterpillar in my room and I'm looking after it? I think it's quite strange. The main reason I want to talk to you Craig poos. Yeah, he poos. Did you know caterpillars poo? I didn't. It's a really strange angle, but I'm quite digging it. They poo. What the heck? It's so random. I literally looked at the bottom of the box and it's filled with poo. I feel like I should take it all out, but I don't want to do that. Yeah, I should probably take it out. All these wee black dots that you're seeing are uh, poo. That's poo. That's poo. That's poo. Craig's pooing like a trooper. Okay, I'm sorry guys, but I literally just cleared him out. Um, He's a pooing machine. All those wee pellets are poo. How on earth does he do it? Look at him. He's massive now. Craig is living the dream. I want to be living the dream. FML. Guess I'll be back when something new happens. Let's move on to our next update, I guess. <laughs> Holy shit! Chloe! Holy shit! He's pupated! This is a beautiful day, ladies and gentlemen. This is a beautiful day. I looked in the tub this morning and I was like, I can't actually see him. And then we just had a closer look, turned the box around, and he's like covered himself in leaves. Pupating. Looks like there's water coming from him at the back. He's probably pissing himself. <laughs> it's quite hard to see, like, to be fair, but. And then there's all his mossy blue moss poo. <laughs> Sound it. <laughs> a great day. Well, team, it's uh, it's been one week since Craig started the pupating process. 
and he's still in his wee cocoon. The only reason I'm here is because I feel like I should move him. I feel like he's in a deep enough sleep now that I can maybe show him to you. When he hatches, does he hatch? I don't know, whatever he does. Whenever he's out of there, I'm worried he's gonna be flapping his wings around in a tiny wee ball. There's still a lot of leaves in there and sticks. He's attached himself to the back of the box. So I'm kinda thinking maybe I should take all the stuff out and just leave one stick and then I'll release him. But I'm really worried if I open the box, his cocoon might fall off the back because it's really awkward to open. I'm doing it. You'll also notice I have a bonsai tree, which I still haven't grown yet. This feels like surgery. I'm really nervous. I've decided this was a mistake. Yeah, it looks like he's attached himself with lines of silk to some of the branches, so I can't take this lid off further. But quickly, while he's here, I guess. See that little cocoon of things in there? That's him. But yeah, I need to put him back. This is dodgy. So yeah, a wee bit of an update then. Don't play with your caterpillar when he's cocooning. Um, I think that's the lesson we've learned here. Kind of feel like he's going to be a three-week pupator. I don't actually know, but the next time I see you, guys, hopefully he'll be out. I'm probably going to be editing in some dramatic music building up to him hatching, so... Oh, here we go! <laughs> it's been like three weeks. Jesus. I read that he possibly hibernates all of winter, but Jesus Christ, I didn't think that was actually true. I just need him to hurry the bloody hell up. I need this documentary to hurry up and bloody end. If you made it this far, then fair freaking dues to you. Like, I am. Thank you very much. Smash the like if you did. Fingers crossed, the next time I speak to you, he will have hatched. But I feel like I said that last time. The next time I see you, hopefully he'll be out. Yeah, I did say that last time. Sorry, yeah, my bad. I just want to release him into the wild. I don't want his moly poo sitting in the corner of my room. Do you know what that's like? No, of course you don't. You don't have caterpillar poo lying in the corner of your room. I do. Let's hope the next time that I pick up his blooming camera, he is hatched. Holy sh! holy sh! holy sh! Guys. Craig hatched. Oh! He's hatched. He's actually hatched. I don't know how I'm gonna work this. I don't want to freak him out. It's the best day of my life. Uh, but yeah, I need to work out where the hell I'm gonna put him. There's a lot of birds outside. This is what's waiting for Craig. Now, as a parent, some of you may know, it's tough sometimes letting your kids go. I've been a dad for all of six minutes, but it's been a good ride. He's sitting over there right now. He's just chilling at the top of the box. It's called a brimstone moth. I forgot. I checked that earlier. I was thinking of putting them in the garage, you see. You see if in there, get away home, catch some flies. Do they actually even eat flies? I don't know. Oh my god, there's a seagull outside. I swear, why do all the birds decide to come in one day? So yeah, without further ado, let's get over to him and I'm gonna show you what he looks like. Whoa! He's actually quite big. Meat. Craig. Look at him, he's freaking sick. I know they're supposed to like let their wings warm up and stuff. Maybe that's what he's doing now. His head's on the left. Anyway, you can see that much. This is the best day. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, I gotta take a few pictures of him now. He's got a good healthy body there. Sorry it's shaking a lot, but I'm really struggling to stay still here. Right, well I think it's time to take him down to the garage and see how this works. Guys, look at him. So another cool thing we can get a look at here is his shell. Check it out, there's his wee shell. Look at the size of that thing. And he came out like this. What a beast, mate. I'm gonna get you outside, mate, don't worry. First time Craig's probably felt fresh air. It's also raining, guys, so also another reason not to let him out in the open, I think. This is dodgy, the wind blowing. No! Hold on, mate. Right, going into the garage. This is a good place for him, I don't know. I might be better off just letting him go outside, you know? There he is, doing his thing. Really not sure what to do. Quite a few spider webs are up in the corridor, and that's where he's gonna go. Listen to the birds. Wait, they're laughing at me. They're gonna be like, oh, what an idiot. They're gonna he's gonna release his caterpillar here. Right, it's time, let's do this. <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. He's feeling fresh air for the first time. I don't know if he's ready to fly yet. I mean... I don't know what to do with him. He's not ready to fly, obviously. He's definitely not ready to fly, though, which is really worrying me. See, I don't really know what to do. Look at this camera strap. Flip sick. I think I've got to remember he's literally in a plastic box and it's pretty windy out here. I'm going to have to move him, guys. Don't worry, it's alright. I could hold on to him till later. That's a good idea. I'm gonna get the lid and put it back on him. I mean, he seems pretty content with me carrying him around. Like, Craig obviously wants the wings to dry out. That's fine by me. I'll release him later tonight when it's darker and hopefully not as wet. Guys, would you move out of the way? I'm trying to, I'm trying to film Craig here. What a man. What a man. It's 11 o'clock now. I'll be home at 4. So he's got about 5 hours in there. I'm sure that's enough time to dry out. I'll be back with you in a couple hours and we're gonna let him go into the wild. Hopefully it's not raining and it's not too windy, but I'll poke his wee body, try to get him to, to leave. See you in a couple of hours. <laughs> it's 
Still not much movement yet, to be honest. Okay, you can literally barely see me, but apparently they're attracted to light. Well, I knew that. Kind of hoping he flies to a light nearby instead of just flying into the wilderness. What a champion. I feel like I might try to get him on, on a stick or something, or my hand. I could almost kiss him, I'm not gonna kiss him. There's a freaking bat. And he's, they're trying to take Craig, they're trying to take him! This is one of the coolest things I've ever done, I think. You can tell I haven't done much when this is one of the coolest things I've ever done. He seems pretty content. I'm still supposed to be doing my uni project, but, you know, priorities. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty, pretty impressed with how he looks. Yeah, I've got so much uni work to do, so... Craig, I feel like you're gonna have to go, man. Man, you need to fly. really isn't going well. It's not going to plan at all. You know what? I'll put you in this plant. You wouldn't be able to tell, would you? So there he is, guys. Out in the wilderness. He just pooed. He just pooed. Did you see that? Come on, you need to fly. What is he doing, Craig? What are you doing, mate? Right. Screw it. I'll speak to you in the morning. He'll either still be there or he'll be gone. I'll talk to you in the morning, guys. Peace out. Guys, it's the next day. Thought he might hang around till the morning and say goodbye, but no. He left. Or he got eaten, I don't know, he might have been eaten. But... I swear to God, he was the end of Craig. So what's next? I don't know. I'm gonna have to find a new bug to look after. I'll wrap this all up in a couple of hours after my hockey match, so... Yeah, it's done. It's happened. Craig is free. The process is over. How long's it been? A while. So, did you enjoy this? I actually miss the wee man like I miss him. I need a new hobby, really badly. But yeah, what did you think? Did you enjoy the process? Did you watch the whole video? Are you gonna go get a caterpillar now? I'm definitely gonna try and find another one. Best part's when you wake up and you're just like, holy crap, that's what he looks like. There you have it, it's done, it's over. I quite enjoy doing these type of videos now because they're, they're kind of over like a period of time. If you like them, let me know because that would be interesting. If you haven't seen my documentary of, you know, 30 day press up challenge that I did with my mate Justin, you can go watch that, similar sort of vibe. And yeah, what's next? What should I do next in this type of video? I'm happy this is over. I'm also quite sad, kind of hoping he visits me one day. Don't think that's gonna happen, but I guess that's it. So if you did enjoy it, you know what to do. Bang, and let me know what you wanna see next. Subscribe if you're new, and you know, get the notifications on so you don't miss more. I hope you have a lovely week, month, day, whatever. Enjoy caterpillar hunting season, see what you can find. Right, I'm get out here. It was a pleasure. Peace out, much love. Bye-bye. <laughs>